Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards and today we're making a perfect raspberry lemonade. Let's get into it. It's great to have every one of you back here. It's Friday, the weather is beautiful, the sun is out, and I want to sit on the back deck with my feet up under a tree and relax. And if you agree with me, leave a comment down below because I think it's perfect to enjoy your time outside. Or you know what? Sit down in front of the TV, relax, the weekend is coming up. And you know what? A raspberry lemonade is perfect to do that. Simple and easy to make. It's sweet, it's tart all at the same time with a hint of booze. Let's get into it. The first thing we need is your shaking glass. We are going to shake this cocktail, so that's important. Use whatever you want. Use a mason jar, use your workout canister with the little uh, spring thing in it. It doesn't matter, totally up to you. It's whatever you have on hand. So the first thing you'll need is some raspberries. And we need four or five raspberries. Put that there. Grab your muddle. And we're just going to muddle these gently. We're just breaking it down. It's gonna kind of go squishy and ooey and not do a lot, but you know what? That's exactly what you need it to do. The next thing you need to do is grab your jigger and grab your simple syrup. And you'll use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Now what the sugar is going to do is it's going to start to interact with the fruit and the fruit juices and pull out more of that goodness, more of that sweetness, and it will break down the pulp of the fruit a little bit better. Now, swap this over, grab your white rum of choice. In this case, I'm using Plantation Three Star Rum. This is gonna be a nice little bottle here. And for this, oh, did you hear that? Proper cork action there. For this, we need two ounces or 60 milliliters. Oh yeah. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a lemon. Grab your knife, we're gonna dissect it in half, and the reason for that is we're just going to juice a lemon that might fit in my squeezer here. And we need, and we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Oh, look at that. Oh. Take this, put that in your container, clean that up in a minute. You have a little bit of lemon here. What we're going to do is we're going to slice a wheel and put that off to the side just for our garnish. Put that over there. Now, what I'm going to do is add some ice and we're going to shake this for 10 to 15 seconds. Like I said, 10 to 15 seconds with a smile. Yeah. Smack that off with the strength of a thousand raspberries. You don't need that anymore. Throw that over there. Pick this up because we don't need it. Grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a nice little Collins glass. It's tall. It's long. I can take my time going through it and it'll look stellar. And you need some more ice. Look at that, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fine strain this because I wanna keep the pulp and the raspberry bits out just because I want a nice clean drink. You can choose to just dump it in there and have it more rustic style, totally up to you and your preferences. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Grab your soda water of choice. In this case, I'm using Canada Dry Club Soda. You could use Schweppes. You could use your own soda stream. Totally up to you, your own preferences. And we just want to top the last two inches or five centimeters of the glass. Ooh, look at that. Grab your very thick lemon slice, 
slide that in here like so. And you know what? Just enough to get that in like so. And we're going to put one big raspberry up top with that. And look at that. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I can't wait. I've even got a straw for this. And you know what? Let's give it a little bit of a, just a gentle stir. We're just incorporating everything, right? Oh. Mm. It is tart. It's sweet, refreshing. The raspberry and the lemon go together like a horse and carriage. Even like love and marriage. And if you recognize what TV show that's from, leave a comment down below. Mm. You know what? Mm. Whatever. It's summer, it's hot, it's actually spring, but this is an awesome drink. You know what? I am going to put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think I should use a different type of rum or a different type of a syrup, uh, for example, a vanilla syrup or maybe even a cranberry syrup, just something that will change the flavoring and build your new ounces, please let me know in the comments down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze under rock because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. And you know what? You have a great day. Go sit out in the sun. In this case, I'm using Plantation Street. So the first thing you need is to knock stuff over.